robotic surgery has been around uh, in its uses for gynecology for quite some time. The newest thing is use of the single site platform. When we use that platform, we make one small incision. It's 2.3 centimeters, uh, a little bit less than an inch in the base of the belly button. And we're able to put the instruments that we use through the robot into that small incision. Uh, hysterectomy is basically a surgery to remove the uterus. Uh, hysterectomy does not necessarily refer to removing the tubes or the ovaries, but specifically the uterus. The tubes and ovaries can be removed as part of a surgery uh, to remove the uterus, but doesn't necessarily include that. Uh, and the single site platform can be used for any of those things, removing the uterus, removing the tubes and ovaries, removing all of them. Uh, any of those things can be done with the single site platform. The setup in the room, uh, the patient's lying on the operative table with the anesthesia providers uh, attending uh, to their respirations and their heart rate. Uh, we attach uh, instruments from the robot to the patient at the operating table. Then while the procedure's being done, I go to, to an operating console, which is uh, basically a, a seat with controls uh, I have a scope that I look through that gives a uh, three-dimensional view and controllers for both my feet and my hands that control the instruments that are doing the surgery uh, in the patient. One of the biggest advantages to the robotic surgery is, is the visualization and what you can see through that binocular uh, scope uh, is not just a traditional television screen view, it's actually a three-dimensional view where you can estimate uh, uh, depth and, and th see things in three dimensions. Uh, and it's also magnified, so you get a much better view. And then the control of the instruments is very much like using your own wrists. You're able to move the instrument in the same way you'd be able to move your own wrists and your own hands uh, within the patient. Cosmetically, it's wonderful. The small incision in the base of the umbilicus, when it heals, is very difficult to even notice. Uh, and there's no incisions anywhere else at all. The second advantage mainly is uh, discomfort. Uh, there's actually very little uh, discomfort with an incision made in the umbilical area. Incisions that are made in other areas of the abdomen tend to cause a little bit more pain. So the pain from this procedure is even quite a bit less than with traditional robotic surgery. The ideal candidate for a robotic single site surgical uh, procedure is a patient who's not significantly overweight. Uh, they can have a small uh, weight issue but not significantly overweight. Not having had multiple previous surgical procedures, they can have had a few surgical procedures but not a, uh, a large number of them. And then some of it is determined by the pathology or the problem that they have that brings them to the table for a uh, hysterectomy. A large mass or growth would not apply to this uh, situation. It's an excellent procedure for people with bleeding problems, pelvic pain problems, uh, that fit the other criteria. And we were the, the first in this region of the country to be able to uh, perform this procedure. We were very excited to have that opportunity. Uh, it, it's, it's mainly exciting for the positives that it offers the patients. Gallbladder surgery is one of the most common operations done in the United States and uh, robotic single incision gallbladder surgery is beginning to come into the forefront of maybe in many ways the newest, most modern, and most patient advantageous way of doing gallbladder surgery. I think it's important that any time we do anything that the, we want to make it as safe for the patient as we can and as easy for the patient as we can. In single incision gallbladder surgery, our goal is to come as close to scarless as we can. Now, of course, there's always a scar from surgery, but if we put it right through the middle of the belly button, when, when we're done, oftentimes that scar is very hard to see, and our goal is to do the, the surgery through a one-inch incision. What the robot allows us to do is to almost behave as if we had both hands inside the abdomen, like we were doing open surgery, only we're actually sitting in a console to do it. 
So it works very nicely for the surgeon. I was the first uh, to successfully complete a robotic assisted single incision procedure in the state of Nebraska. Um, there had been single incision procedures performed prior to the utilization of robot, including ones that I've done. Um, however, I felt that those procedures were somewhat awkward. Um, it provided less range of motion of my instrumentation and less laterality of my instrumentation. And so therefore was not as safe of a procedure as I felt that it could have been. Um, adding the DaVinci robot to that particular procedure, and again, having done the first one in May of 2012, I believe, um, I haven't looked back since. And we've continued to grow our numbers uh, with respect to the procedures that we've done to, to the point where we've done more here at St. Elizabeth's uh, or here in Lincoln, Nebraska than any place else in the state. Mm -hmm. You simply have to reiterate to patients that it is a safe procedure. It's a procedure that performs the same task as multiple incisions and that the goal and the end result is identical. One of the things that transforms to safety is the advent of the Firefly system, just recently approved by the FDA. What we do is we put uh, some medication in the IV about an hour before surgery. Then in the operating room, when we look at the gallbladder and what we call the biliary tree, the part of the connection between the liver and the intestine where the gallbladder attaches, this dye that we put in can be visualized with a special optical system called Firefly that we only find in the robotic instrumentation of intuitive surgical. So uh, like this last week when we were doing the surgery, when we go to the Firefly technique, it's sort of as a, almost like a black light camera and it comes on and it lights up all the anatomy so that we can see the anatomy safely. And another small improvement but significant for patients is at the end of the surgery we can look and see if there's any fluid leaking out from the liver. It gets kind of complicated to explain but the, the liver is a biliary tree and th the branches can leak back through where the gallbladder was. Leaks after gallbladder surgery happen for every surgeon. We feel it's in the range of one to two percent but it can require another admission, it can require another procedure. So with the Firefly system at the end of the procedure I can go to this fluorescent image and see with our dye if there's any leak coming from the liver bed where the gallbladder was. And by treating it right then, it prevents a readmission to the hospital and prevents another procedure for the patient. So this is a pretty significant advancement in patient safety for an operation that's done routinely. I definitely believe that single incision surgery is going to surpass just hysterectomy, just cholecystectomy, and move on to, on to multiple other uh, procedures. Uh, this is really the tip of the uh, iceberg in terms of where things will go. Uh, new robots will be developed, new techniques, new equipment, new ways of doing things. All of this uh, increases the patient's ability to bounce back quicker, get out of the hospital faster, resume to regular activity faster. So yes, the, robotics is the, is the beginning of the new chapter in uh, surgical procedures.